After the tires, your chain is the next most neglected part of your bike. If you neglect your chain, beware of dire consequences. The problem is, is that those consequences don't happen immediately. They take time to develop, and they develop in a rather nasty way. The chain is the single most complicated piece of equipment on your bike. It consists of about 115 separate links. Each link consists of about 10 separate moving parts. With all those moving parts, there's a great potential for wear and tear. In fact, what happens over a period of time is that the pivot points in your chain collect dirt and grit, and those pivot points wear. And as they wear, the free play in the pivot points increases. Now, it might not sound like a lot of free play when you develop one one hundredth of an inch, but with two separate pivot points on every link of every chain and 115 links, if you've developed as little as a one one hundredth of an inch of play at each one of those pivot points, over the length of your chain, your chain all of a sudden gets longer. If, if you do the math of two pivot points per link times 115 separate links, there is a potential to increase the length of your chain by as much as two inches by just simply introducing that very small amount of wear and tear at each one of those pivot points. The problem is that the chain is designed to mesh perfectly with the teeth on your gears. Every single tooth is the exact same distance from the next tooth. And those teeth are designed to mesh perfectly with a brand new chain. As your chain wears, so do your teeth on the gears. And they wear at the same rate, the same abrasive material that dirt and grime and grit that accumulates in your chain is going to be responsible for causing wear and tear on the teeth of your gears. If you allow your chain to wear to the point of no return, the teeth on your gears will no longer mesh with a new chain. It's fine as long as you've got that old worn out chain on your bike, but eventually it comes time to replace that chain. And if you've let your chain go too far, the gears and the teeth on those gears, having been worn to match that overstretched, worn out, rusted chain, will no longer mesh with a brand new chain. And the result is a fairly expensive repair of replacing all the gears on your bike. You can simply avoid that or delay it by a significant amount by simply cleaning and lubricating your chain regularly. If you clean and lubricate your chain, you're going to dramatically reduce the wear and tear on those pivot points in the chain and the wear and tear on the gears on your bike. With our chain cleaning system, you can actually get in between the links and plates on your chain and do an incredibly thorough job of cleaning the chain without any major work. In fact, it turns what used to be a really messy job into something that you can do in a matter of a minute. If it's easy to do, you're going to do it more often and more regularly. In fact, I recommend cleaning your chain at least once a month if you're riding in absolutely clean weather. Whenever you encounter bad weather, in other words, whenever you ride in the rain or in the muck or whenever your chain gets wet as a result of crossing rivers or exposing it to bad weather, it's time to clean and relubricate your chain. If you clean and relubricate your chain regularly, you'll avoid some very costly repairs. Okay, so place the chain inside the cleaner, snap the top on, position 
at the derailleur. And crank the chain through the bath. And you can see that those brushes are scrubbing all the dirt off the chain and in between all the links and plates and turning that nice clear degreaser into a dirty soupy mess. All that stuff, all that abrasive material and grit and grime were inside your chain grinding away at the links, plates, pivots, and more importantly, they're also grinding away at the teeth on all your gears. That's about it. And then wipe it clean of all the solvent. And it's also an opportunity to clean the jockey wheels while you're at it with your cleaning brush. So the gears. Apply the lube generously, and I like to spray it onto the chain just as it goes over the derailleurs so it doesn't splash all over the place. Then simply wipe away the excess so it's not all dripping, and let the lubricant set up on the chain. This is a dry lube, so we're going to allow it to harden and dry to a hard finish so it doesn't accumulate any more dirt in it.